So day three will kick off with two big field handicaps for me then. The John Smith Silver Cup is a listed handicap. 0-1-10 over one more than six furlongs and I think they've got about 19 runners for this. So one or two of them will need to get themselves near the fence pretty quickly. Harrowett Tiddley at the top for David Robertson, October Breeze, Graham Clutterbuck, Secret Plans, Leon Van Rensburg, Shipton Gorge, Darren Thompson, Wheel of Fortune, Craig Beckwith, Bosker Briggs for Joshua Sutherland, Oath for Craig Beckwith, William Rufus, Kevin Meadahan, Rate Ross, David Robertson, Danny Magic, Padraig Hogan, Rainbow River, Martin Leedham, Red Rover, Padraig Hogan, Heshan, Duchess, Vinnie Gerard, Patch Patch, Stu Gray, Hills Patchy, Dan Hughes, Jetstream, John Morgan, Country Craft Toss for James Shea, Zephonic Bell for Graham Clutterbuck, and still game for Alex Cherry. So all in then, and away they go, and some of these ones that are wide are going to really struggle, I think, and the one widest of all just happens to be mine. Anyway, Busker Briggs is in the lead. And right over on the far side, Red Rover is in front. You can see Busker Briggs is going to try and cut across, but hasn't quite got far enough in front to be able to do so. And he's still going to be four or five horse widths wide. Rainbow River, the one who was widest on the track, has managed to get across a little bit, but not anywhere near far enough really. But now Busker Briggs has got two or three lengths clear and can cut to that fence, and so has negated that poor draw. And he's three lengths clear, but just how much energy has it taken up to do that manoeuvre. Red Rover is in second, Patch Patch is in third, then Hesham Duchess and still game, then comes October Breeze, Harrowit Tiddley, the Greys after that one, and then Country Craft Toss, Secret Plans and Shipton Gore looking towards the back. There's a line of about five of them, which include Wheel of Fortune and William Rufus, but it's Busker Briggs in the lead by about two lengths to Red Rover on the inside second, Patch Patch third, Hesham Duchess fourth, and then still game is fifth on the inside, looking for racing room is October Breeze, and up the centre of the track, Country Craft Toss, Harrowit Tiddly the Grey is there. Secret Plans is also going reasonably well. And one widest on the track now, I think, is going to be Graham Clutterbox horse. And I think that's a phonic bell. But it's Busker Briggs in the lead with a mile to go. And they've still got one more turn to take. And it's Busker Briggs in the lead. From Red Rover who's four lengths back now in second. Then comes Heshan Butchers and Still Game. Patch Patch is after that. Then Country Craft Toss and October Magic. Danny Magic is next. And uh, then comes Secret Plans. Right was a one put up at the back there. Harrowit Tiddly. So something gone wrong with Harrowit Tiddly. And she's been pulled up at the back. The top weight is out of the Silver Cup. But it's Busker Briggs in the lead. From Red Rover in second. Patch Patch is third, Heshan Dudges is fourth, then comes Steel Game and Country Craft Toss, then October Bridge, and another one being pulled up at the back is William Rufus. So a bit of a rough race this one then it would seem and it's Busker Briggs in the lead from Red Rover in second Patch Patch is third then Heshan Butchers and Still Game then comes October Breeze Country Craft Toss is after that one and Ray Ross shipped and George trying to get into it as well and towards the back now Hills Patchy is the back marker is going to need to get through a lot of horses to get into this there's three and a half furlongs to go and Busker Briggs is clearing the lead from Red Rover in second Patch Patch is third October Breeze is going to try and go up the inside Ray Ross is running on nothing else is coming out of the pack at the moment. There's two and a half furlongs to go. And Busker Briggs is clear by three to Red Rover in second. Then comes Ray Ross in third. October Breeze has gone up the inside. Then comes Secret Plant trying to get into it. Danny Magic's trying to run on, but it's still Busker Briggs in the lead. Coming down towards the final furlong, and now Busker Briggs is caught up by Red Rover. And Red Rover takes it up. Red Rover goes into the lead. Here comes Ray Ross in second. It's Red Rover and Ray Ross. Red Rover and Ray Ross are pulling away from the rest of Red Rover looks to be comfortable. And up towards the line, Red Rover in the lead, one last lunch from Ray Ross but didn't get there, Red Ray wins it, Ray Ross is second in we we'll have fortune and secret plans and patch patch after that, and all the way back to Rainbow River, so it's RRs everywhere with Red Rover and Ray Ross fighting out the finish and Rainbow River last so Red Rover takes it then for Padre Hogan, Ray Ross was second for David Robertson with a wheel of fortune third for Craig Beck with secret plans for the old one Resberg was fourth and um, patch patch who won the fifth for Stu Gray.